Good morning and welcome to morning meditation. We're on Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him. Bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. His truth endureth to all generations. Now, despite what the world wants us to believe today, God's truth is everlasting. It doesn't matter whether people believe it. Hold to it, try to change it. It is not going to change. Praise God, it is the same. Therefore, we have something to be joyful in, and we can rejoice in it. I want you to think about rejoicing in a few things today. Number one, rejoice in your salvation. God's the one that made us. He knew that we'd accept him as our personal Savior, and he gives us the opportunity to rejoice in him. Think of Uh, A good song, Uh, I think of Ron Hamilton's song, Oh, rejoice in the Lord, he makes no mistakes. He knoweth the path that each one of us takes. And so think about that and think about God's goodness. Rejoice in your salvation. Uh, Number two, rejoice in who God is. Uh, Just surrender to God. Realize he's in control. Uh, He knows what's best for us, and he does know what's best for this world, despite what the world thinks. And one day, he will come back and rule and reign, and that's part of Psalm 100. But also, we can rejoice because we're able to enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Take the time today to take a few moments just to worship God. Prayer is a great gift God has given us. But prayer isn't just asking God for things. It's taking the time to worship Him. It's taking time to confess. It's taking time for intercession. It's taking the time to pray for ourselves, for others, for the needs of the world. Uh, Basically, not to focus on ourselves, but focus on the Savior. And so I want to encourage you today Take some time during this Christmas season to rejoice as the angels did. Uh, They sang glory to God, peace on earth and goodwill toward men. And uh, boy, this day and time, it just seems like people are becoming more evil. But the good news is God's truth never changes. Salvation never changes. Our surrender never changes. And last of all, our service shouldn't change. I see more and more uh, Christians that serve God for a while, then step back, do things for the kingdom of God for a while, and then step away. Can I encourage you today? Our our theme for 2024 is going to be do more in 2024. And that's not just saying, boy, let's do it all. No, just take a step forward. Take a step up. Take a step out of yourself and decide that you're going to rejoice in the Lord no matter what happens, that we can stay focused on Him and not on the things of this earth. Peter did really well when he kept his eyes on Jesus, but the moment he looked at his circumstances, he began to sink. And boy, Peter could rejoice in the fact that he said, Lord, save me, and immediately the Lord saved him. And I want to say to you and I, (coughs) excuse me, today, the Lord will save us. The Lord will take care of us. He'll meet the needs in our lives, the lives of those that we're praying for and the lives of those that we're trying to influence. Take some time today. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. As Psalm 118 says, rejoice in the fact that this is the day the Lord hath made. And every one of us have a lot to rejoice in. You can focus on circumstances. And yes, some of us do have it, some difficult circumstances, some tough things to deal with. Or you can focus on the Savior who never lets us down, never fails, never fades, 
never forgets, and never falters. Let's make sure that we're focused on the right thing today. And you have a blessed day and a Merry Christmas.